Yep. Level load. Sparkles. Sparkles everywhere. Okay, so they're going to show us like a little video film thing. Uh, at least I remember that. Um, how long have we been recording for? 11 minutes. Launching clients. Intake the intake. intro sim is oh. a simulated mindscape created by the Neurostalgia Institute to ensure new neuroprobers are fully prepared before working with their first client. Although not as complex as an actual client, the intro sim offers unique guidance to train and remind neuroprobers of the key principles and techniques of neural probing. We at the Neurostalgia Institute hope you enjoy this introductory simulation. Things have become almost unbearable for me. And for my family. Nothing has helped. Wow. I guess that's why I'm here. So, um, if I just talk about my troubles, You'll be able to use it later to help with the procedure. Seems hard to believe, but you're the experts. Mm -hmm. I, I think many of my issues started when I was young. Yes. So, why don't we start with my childhood days, yes? Okay. You don't Let's sound like see. someone who's in trouble. You sound like a doctor. I was raised in a lovely cottage in Germany. But then this is the Germany. simulation, so yeah. Oh, we didn't yeah. have much, but my twin sister, uh, oh, our father, and I got by. There was actually a great famine for much of my early childhood, and often we went without food. I had many happy moments with my family, but the darkest times began when my father remarried. My stepmother always resented my sister and me. We didn't like her much either, to be honest. God, she was horrible. Sometimes she would take my sister and me out for long walks in the uh -huh. forest, I think you and then she'd hurry home. Going. My sister and I couldn't keep up, and we'd often get lost. Did I mention we learned my name to is leave Hans? a trail of whatever we could find on those walks to help us get home. I guess, in some ways, our stepmother helped us become resourceful. But she was still a bitch. My sister is a real fighter. The kind of woman any girl or boy could look up to. She volunteers to work with various youth organizations now. Uh, enough about her. Okay, what else? Maybe I should talk about my feelings, yes? Yes. You may find it hard to believe, but... I've always struggled with various eating <laughs> disorders and... anxiety around food. Eating anything rich makes me feel scared and uh, anxious. But yet I can't it's stop hard to delicious. describe. Mm. My sister has actually experienced similar issues, and it has worsened for us both as we've gotten older. That's not normal, now, is it? Oh God, I could eat that. We've seen countless doctors about this in the past. They've determined that our issues may be trauma-related, but have yet to help us sort out the underlying source. They have yet to fix us. That says fix us. That's why we're here. That's a T. That's not an F. Why won't that fix us? Anything? No, I think we're entering a mindscape. Oh, hello. Where's my controller? <laughs> All right. Welcome to Neuroprober Training. I am pleased to be your guide. When I'm speaking, you can always make a left trigger motion to skip the instruction. Okay, bye. Opens the doors. Whether you are speaking with the client directly or neural probing within their mind, it is always imperative to listen. You'll find that every detail of Jeez. the subconscious is trying to tell its story. Look at how In the case of our clients, are. it's often the forgotten story of the trauma they experienced. Some parts of the client's memory may have become confused Whoa. or corrupted by the conscious mind's attempts to reconcile or cover up the truth of what happened to them. However, if you look closely and carefully in the right places, you will find that the truth will ultimately shine through. These flowers are bigger than my hands! Scale is such a really big thing. Especially when you're doing VR. Whoa! That's as big as my face. 
Some parts of the subconscious allow you to interact with them, while neuroprobing, make an A button motion <laughs> to engage with it. Use an Using a, a button right motion, motion with your mind. will allow you to move the item around to examine it further. When you are done, you can make an A motion again, and it will return to its natural position. Oh my god, that's the size of a boulder. Nice bumper, Amyo. Check out the boat. Oh, you could poke out my eyes with that. Yep. Okay. I want I want a cupcake. Cupcake. Ah, there we go. Cupcake. Delicious cupcake. Oh god, that looks so good. I have not eaten lunch. That might be a mistake. Ah. Uh, oh, here we go. Excuse me, flowers. Oh, now these. Well, I mean, yes, they're they're massively oversized, but these are called Sweet Williams. These are my favorite flowers. Uh, I mean, like. I don't particularly like the pink one so much, but it's the, the rippled effect. You, if you get like a whole heap of them with all the various colors together in a gun, they like, they breed over the years and like, so they go from like these, well these are the, the pink ones with like the light pink on them, but there's purple ones and then there's red ones and then there's blue ones and then like you just get this lovely rippled effect all the way through them. I think they're also called Benthius carnations. While neural probing, you will encounter objects that look like photographs. Oh my god, this is photographs! How your consciousness interprets the concrete memory moments it finds within the client's psyche. Typically, there are about 10 of these memory photos found in each psyche. The mind can only hold on to so much. You'll find that half of these photos present an actual moment relating to the trauma. The other half tend to be false memories created by the client's conscious mind. It will ultimately be up to you to determine which are which. More on that later. Beautiful. Where? Oh, I'm high. So then I get to say, like, you know, yeah, she always hate. Oh, she always hated me. Acknowledged. When you acknowledge a memory photo, it will surface more prominently in the client's psyche, and at that point can be found in a safe area of the mind often where you begin within the client's mind. Cool. When you have found all 10 photos, you must put five of the memories that actually represent the trauma in the proper order. Doing so will, at last, fully release the memory to the client's conscious mind. Often yeah. he or she will experience a breakthrough at this moment. Woo! That breakthrough is what every neuroprober lives for and is the key to the client finally being able to work towards true recovery. Now, my problem with that is that, you know, if you're in someone's mind, how are you going to know which is false and which is true? Jeez, these flowers, they're gigantic. The most hey. important thing you do as a neuroprober is find and acknowledge these photos. However, this is easier said than done. While some photos are freely available in the subconscious, others are buried deeply within and will need to be coaxed out. Okay, cool. Just gigantic flowers. Dear brats, go away. Love your stepmom. I love you, stepmom. I guess. Basically, we need to go through that door, I believe. Uh, yeah. Oh, it's that door over there. Um, uh, I'm just gonna put this on. <laughs> Not recommended. Because so much better. You just move so much faster. I, th I think it's fine for you guys because you know uh, well I found it fine but you know I mean like some people who do interacting get with one part of the mind can sometimes sick. open up Motion new areas of the psyche just watching some videos. things like these doors can change their state in response to actions taken elsewhere okay cool cool beans let's go Ooh. So we have to follow the path, but first, my sister s saved me from a coming dinner. Delicious. 
The subconscious doesn't take kindly to intruders and will take every opportunity to feed off of any sensations of anxiety or tension you offer to it. That's a good thing if I don't know wearing a sense of that. Try to stay calm and peaceful, even in the face him. of terror. If you can calm yourself, you'll find the subconscious will calm itself too. Let's all find moments of zen. At these gigantic flowers. But then these are like gigantic uh, breadcrumbs, so what do you know? Look, those are correct size flowers. What the heck is going on here? Here's an example of a particularly yeah. buried memory. Some details of a given trauma can be especially tenacious, but by gently and cleverly listening to the clues the mind gives you, you will find all you need to work through it. Just think of it as a puzzle for you to solve. When you, you focus you, on these puzzles, like an actual puzzle? make yes. a left trigger motion if you need to break your concentration. Okay. Oh. So this is simple enough, isn't it? I, I can see what I need to do, but... Oh, there we go. Done. Give me that. I want it. The birds would never sing for me, for us. Okay. Mushrooms can get pretty big, that doesn't freak me out. Okay. Um hmm. Hello there. Uh two parts. Is that? You see, it's kind of like a moon, but it's. Eh, who knows? Follow the breadcrumb trail. That's not creepy at all. Okay. What? I'm guessing another one of those fell. Yeah. I would say that definitely one of my fears would be like broken uh, porcelain dolls, but these aren't really broken, these are just plastic, so porcelain dolls are like terrifying with their broken faces. See, it's not scary if they fall behind you. You need, like, jump scares need to be like right in your face. A terrible fire burned our house down. Yeah, you're just a pyromaniac, kid. Maybe. While neuroprobing, your consciousness is lost deep inside the subconscious mind of the client. Though this is a journey that you must make alone, we at the Neurostalgia Institute take the safety of our neuroprobers very seriously. If you need to access any of your neuroprober tools or pull your consciousness free, press your finger where a menu button might be. This will bring up your neuroprober tools and you can proceed as needed from there. Like... No, not that one. Like that one! Huzzah. Oh look, leave session, call it a day. But we're cool, we're gonna keep going. Follow the breadcrumbs. See the dolls have stopped. Yep, oh, well. Open, please. Thank you. Oh, we're back here. 